Hello YouTube, I'm John. I'm Carolyn. And we are the Grand Shamrock Tour. Yes, we are. We want to welcome you to the <laughs> channel. Uh, this this particular episode, what we wanted to do is just kind of introduce ourselves, the uh, the origin of the, the Grand Shamrock Tour, how it came about, and then give you a little idea of, of what it's like, what we're traveling in, how we get around, and uh, what it's all about. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, yeah. so, so um, it all started 44 years ago now when I rode up, uh, saw this beautiful blonde in a Kmart store, and, and I rode up on a motorcycle and asked her for a date, and her response was? Can I ride the bike? So, so <laughs> when they say that, you have to, you have to marry them is what it boils down to. So, I'm so glad. Yeah. I'm so glad. And man, has it been a ride since. <laughs> it has been. It has been a very interesting and evolving ride. So yeah. we are, uh, we are fortunate that uh, we have now raised our our family, our two sons. We have one on the east coast, one on the west coast, and that left a lot of country in between. Well, we can go anywhere. Yeah, and Anytime. what happened is years ago when Carol and I would take motorcycle rides, uh, she came across the... Well, it was the Roadrunner magazine, and uh, they did a Shamrock tour in their magazine articles, and we followed several of those. Absolutely, and, and being Irish, it was a, a natural progression that we had to uh, create our own uh, Shamrock tour. Yeah. My concern was no matter where we went, no matter how beautiful and fun and exciting the roads were, we always had to ride to the same roads to come back home, pull the bikes into the garage. And, you know, you wanted a different view out your back. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'd say backyard, but now it's our back patio. <laughs> and, and, and we've accomplished that. Now we have uh, the environment changes about every two weeks. Yes, uh, we have for really uh, changed uh, the view. Yeah. Um, so that being said, uh, we decided to to, to uh, come to YouTube. Carolyn, you you chose YouTube because well, we have been doing this now for a couple of years, and I started a couple of scrapbooks and what have you. And we've been telling the story, but we've been keeping it kind of here. Started a blog, and those YouTube videos fit nicely the, with the, the blog. The Grand Shamrock Tour dot com. Uh, <laughs> I put it. It's located right here. <laughs> I don't know. No. Uh, what do you think about YouTube? Oh, I like the I like the button, the play button. It just I mean it's a natural. <laughs> yes, of course you do. Right. So, so for me it's much more simple. Uh, um, of course you do. <laughs> no, it, we 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 have had the opportunity to meet several YouTube couples along the way, whether they're uh, people that were creating travel content or motorcycle oh, yeah. riding content. They're they're just they're wonderful, and they encouraged us too to. You guys, you guys are fun. Go out there and, and, and put some stuff together. Yeah, but what we're really doing is, well, you're very good at telling a story. Um, I prefer to be behind the camera. I love uh, taking photos and, and that kind of thing. But um, we finally, after a couple of years, uh, we've got a lot more travel to go. We decided we should start sharing. Yeah, and, and I think uh, I think probably the the best thing for us is just have the ability to... to to not be like somebody else. I, we're, we're we're different. I mean, we're we're we are we understand that uh, if we were exactly the same or like somebody else, one of us would be unnecessary. That is true. And we don't want to be that. We want to be something that is unique and different, and uh, hopefully it's inspiring and fun. And what we'll start with is uh, we're going to give you a tour of our home which is uh, the, the Grand Shamrock. And I'll get that set up for you right now. Here we have uh, our home. It's a, a Grand Design 2022 Momentum C-Class. This is, the model is the 351M. The M series is their kind of mid-range. Well, you can say that, but it's actually really a nice model. It fits us really well John. Yeah, it does it, 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 it handles what we needed to do uh, we move around the country with a, a 2020 GMC Denali the the 3500 HD series with the, the Duramax motor it gets great fuel mileage we can get easily 11 miles per gallon pulling the entire house around and, the country. And it's really nice too. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty comfortable. It's yeah, <laughs> we are. Uh, we, we 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 try to encourage everybody that yeah, we're not camping, we're not roughing it, we're actually having quite an adventure that that is uh, lovely. And we have the two BMW motorcycles. The uh, one on the left is a, 
1250 GS and uh, the one on the right is the F700 GS which uh, allows us to go any road that Carolyn finds for us. There you go, there you go. This uh, model, a couple of slides, I guess it's got three slides, you know the patio comes down. Yeah, which I, serves as a loading ramp too. Yeah, the, that's where you load up the motorcycles and the bikes. Uh, it also gives us a little bit extra space, lets a lot of sunshine in, and we're able to spend our evenings out there um, when the when the weather is nice. But it's definitely a little extra living space. Yeah, and, and the objective of our of our plan here is to try and keep the weather nice wherever we go. Now, obviously, you you can't do that every time, but we uh, we're we're right now we're in. Alabama and uh, the weather's been fantastic and, we, and so uh, we will take you up inside here and you'll get an idea of, uh, of how much space they can put in a, you know a 40-foot trailer there obviously that's not tiny but you know we we have a full range and you know four burner stove and a full oven that you, you know we've done a turkey in there this, this uh, Thanksgiving uh, that particular fridge is, is uh, dual purpose uh, propane and well it's a lovely kitchen being a fifth wheel and a couple of slides it gives uh, the chef room to move around and he happens to be very oh. good cook <laughs> well yeah <laughs> Lucky and, for and me. <laughs> the the advantage we have in this particular world is you know we've got we've got a, a Traeger barbecue that uh, that goes in the back of the rig when we're traveling and, and uh, we'll, yeah. we'll cook um, just a slight lift up into the, the bedroom, bathroom area. This particular model, the 351, is equipped with uh, a bath and a half. So we have um, a very comfortable, almost spa-like bathroom up top here. It's, it's got uh, three different shower heads and um, it is, it's wonderful, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah, you got a lot more space. I mean, we originally were in a bumper pole that had a very tiny bathroom. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I quite like having a little bit more space. I like having the stairs where you go upstairs and um, you have a little bit of separation of, of space or room for each other. Yeah, and whenever you, know, you really. whenever you can create that, you're, you're going to obviously be much more comfortable. It's a, it's, a, it's a better living condition. We walk through to the garage now. That's Carolyn's workstation. It's a combination stand-up desk and toolbox and holds cameras and tie downs and it's even got a thousand pound wench in there just in case we have a bad day and we get, need to load when we've had a couple of those things like in uh, Dallas, Texas, Texas, never seen more rain than, than <laughs> in all of Oregon that I saw one day in Dallas, Texas. Stepping out to the patio and you can see that um, we've got um, three season doors, sliding glass doors and, and that is the, the Grand Shamrock tour. It's well that is a tour of our Grand Shamrock on the Grand Shamrock Tour. So we, uh, we're we pretty excited about it. We've got uh, uh, so many things to look forward to, but we do have, if you wanted to see how all this stuff out here gets in here. Well, yeah, if you want to see us loading up this uh, back garage, go ahead and look back on a video. Yeah, a couple, short and entertaining. Yeah, just a couple of uh, episodes back, we did a loading video that we enjoyed doing and it was fun. and. Uh, we, we just want to encourage you that the next season is Mardi Gras to Maine. So if you want to see two lost souls in the south, uh, we'll, we're going to start it here and, and uh, just have a great time. Find ourselves in Maine in June and July and uh, all, all the hijinks that comes in between. And I'm really looking forward to that. But on that note, travel safe. And we'll see you out on the road.